Okay, welcome uh, to the Water Cube again. I think you've done a video before. Can you quickly introduce yourself and show us your name tag? I'm Baba Tope Baba Lubi. I'm a journalist based in Nigeria. I also work as the executive director of the Bread on Life Development Foundation, which is an NGO that is focused specifically on water and sanitation issues in Nigeria. Um, I'm also the chairman of the Water and Sanitation uh, Media Network in Nigeria that comprises journalists working in the sector. Uh, in that capacity, I also double as the general secretary of the Western West African Water and Sanitation uh, Media Network. Um, so you have many hats. But what brings you to, to Stockholm? Uh, you said you have a poster here. What's that about? Yeah, I was invited by CIWI, the Stockholm International Water Institute, to come and uh, make a poster presentation on the study that was conducted by the NGO which I work for. Um, the study was conducted in Nigeria and it's titled Project Rich, which stands for Reaching the Urban Poor with Water and Sanitation Services. Um, two years ago, the NGO um, did a study in 20 towns in Anambra State, which is in southeast Nigeria, on how the people that are staying in slums, in squatters, you know, the urban poor especially, are assessing water and sanitation services. We wanted to know the problems um, they are facing in assessing the services. We want to know the type of uh, services they are uh, assessing in terms of safe, uh, safety, whether there is this improved source of water, or uh, those uh, services come from or improved sources of uh, drinking water, and of course the sanitation services. So you, your poster is also about the, 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 the solutions now? Yeah, the, the, the poster, of course, there, there are four components, four contents of the poster. You introduce what the team of the poster is, um, you, you introduce your findings, and you also introduce, uh, you also discuss um, uh, recommendations for stakeholders. So the summary of, this, of the poster is that there is no strategic framework for delivering water and sanitation services uh, for those communities in Nigeria. And uh, the recommendation, the two major recommendations that we had in the poster is that government at state and national level should consider their primary responsibilities to deliver water and sanitation services to people staying in slums. And we know the conventional water supply and sewage mm -hmm. networks do not yeah. cover these areas. Yeah. So these areas are neglected. You know, but we are saying that government has to know that it, it has a responsibility to find a way of delivering service to these areas. And the second you know, recommendation is that um, we have informal service providers that are presently delivering service to these areas. We are saying that government, um, if you know, because of funding inadequacy cannot deliver service directly, government at state and national level should engage with this uh, informal service providers mm -hmm. um, to ensure that they can deliver service more eff uh, efficiently. What, what, what kind of people did you find, just one more question, in these areas? Yeah. I mean, were they, you know, kind of migrants or kind of seasonal workers or, I mean, these are, you were saying before, peri-urban areas, right? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. There are two sorts of people. The yeah. first ones are the people that migrated from rural areas to those urban areas. And of course, because they have challenges, you know, they just set up, you know, very temporary structures. You know, the second set of people is that even within uh, urban areas, of course, there are various levels of uh, of income. So even within urban uh, urban areas, there are some people who are no income people, who are poor people, and who cannot uh, avoid and um, afford safe, you know, safe housing. So they stay in the outskirts or in slums because of uh, cheaper accommodation. You know, so those are the two categories of people in, in those towns. Okay, well, thank you very much. Yeah, you're yeah, welcome.